this is a video about the interior design makeover of my home office. I have a room that I consider a home office, but I almost never use it because I just don't like it. It doesn't feel good to be in there. I don't like how it looks. There's never any intentional design done in the room. The most important thing to me about this room is how it feels to be in it. I didn't go into this room previously because I just didn't like being there. So I wanted it to be something where I felt really good in the room. I wanted it to feel elegant, classy, creative, bold, cozy. Originally, I was just gonna do a small makeover, paint the walls, get a few new furnishings, um, paint the desk, but my sister convinced me to do a full makeover and make this room something really special that I would wanna use all the time. I started out by buying a lot of things online, but before I could move anything into the room, I needed to prep the walls and paint the room. I was curious about how bad rooms painted black would look. Uh, I thought they must look terrible. So I Googled it just to make sure, and it turned out that the rooms I saw looked amazing. They actually looked really cool, and I decided that I would paint my room black. I was able to get nice clean lines on the trim by putting down tape and then putting Mod Podge over the tape before I painted the trim. Normally when you use tape for trim painting, the, the paint will just bleed right under the tape, but in this case, using the Mod Podge worked perfectly. For my new ceiling lamp, I had to install a dimmer switch. It's really easy to install a new light switch. You disconnect some wires from the old switch and then reconnect them on the new switch. I couldn't find a desk I liked, so I decided to make one. I ordered this butcher block from Home Depot, which was just a raw piece of wood. I sanded it and stained it, um, and then was able to buy some custom legs off of Etsy. And the really cool thing about that is that I could make them exactly the perfect height for me. So this desk wound up being about two inches shorter than my previous desk and it's much more ergonomic for me personally. I had one small area of the wall that was very thin and I did not want to add artwork to the wall. So I decided to decorate it with dried flowers. I hung the flowers to start with, but it turns out that not all flowers can be dried by hanging. So I had to buy this gel and let some of the flowers sit in there for a few days. This really isn't how you're supposed to do it, but it seemed to work and I wound up with some really beautiful dried flowers that I was able to hang on the wall. I find it very difficult to get the measuring right when hanging curtain rods, so in this case I made a template and was able to use that template on both sides to hang the curtains. The next project was to hang up the wall decal of a quote that I bought on Etsy. Had to make sure to measure correctly since the first one that I bought I hung up crooked and had to peel off and throw away. One of the biggest projects I did was to create a gallery, a photo gallery wall right here. I wanted it to be perfectly spaced and proportioned and the wall is not that big. So I measured out everything ahead of time and you know made a template, then made a template on this piece of butcher paper, made sure that everything was spaced evenly. I hung it on the wall here and then um, actually put the nails in 
right on the paper and then I was able to just pull the paper down leaving the nails on the wall and hung the um, the frames up on the hangers. This worked out really well although it did take a very long time. My friend Megan is an artist and I asked her to paint me a dragon Aww, for so the gallery cool. wall which she did and it's awesome. in this room. I spend so much time in it now already. Uh, it's so comfortable and cozy. Uh, it's a great place to get work done and uh, I love it. <laughs>